The Hebrew University was founded by Albert Einstein. It was his dream. The message was humanitarian responsibility, thinking for the next generation, responsibility for a science, and bringing the best of science to the world. For somebody to allow himself to dare and to challenge, you know, the whole establishment of science, what does it mean to us today? We realize that, you know, we have a tremendous opportunity with the centennial of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. What can we do to celebrate and further Einstein's legacy? The Einstein Legacy Project is actually a cluster of projects, each one of them being thought and created individually. The projects include the Genius Book, a 3D publishing milestone that will showcase the collective vision of the greatest thinkers, artists, and icons of our time. The Dinner of the Century, taking place in Montreal, Canada, will launch the Genius Book and convene the greatest innovators and minds on the planet, along with dignitaries and young Einsteins from around the world. The Einstein Archives and Visitor Center will celebrate the life and legacy of Albert Einstein, finally opening Einstein's archives and his personal treasures to the world. The Visitor Center will also serve as a hub for scientific collaboration. Opening a Visitor Center in the new Einstein home will be attractive to the general public because it will allow students, school children, tourists, and everybody else to appreciate the Einstein phenomenon. And the next Einstein competition supports and empowers young people from around the world to follow their curiosity and share their big ideas on how to better our planet. The competition recently partnered with the European Space Agency to find and nurture the brightest young minds in Africa while exciting the region's youth to engage in science and technology. The European Space Agency wish to expand the use of infrastructure that we have developed areas that have no connectivity, and we call it the digital divide, can be easily accessible today with the tools that we have developed. But the contents need to come from somewhere. And here is a fantastic synergy between the Einstein Legacy and Einstein Foundation. All the information after the first searching for the next Einstein, or the next Einstein as we call today, we saw a very strong message. We saw a reach of 42 million people. We saw Facebook uh, a page with 17 million. We saw 2,000 ideas from 37 different countries. How many Einsteins or potential Einsteins are out there in villages in Africa or in Asia or in India that don't have a great education, they don't have the resources, don't have labs, that don't have the kind of opportunities that most people have? The idea that you know anybody from any socioeconomic background, um, no matter how underprivileged somebody might be or how challenged somebody might be in some respects, that they can overcome those challenges by simply submitting the next great idea, you know, that is uh, very inspirational. I think um, the focus on girls in the Einstein Legacy Project is tremendously important. It's something that I think Einstein himself would have been fully on board with, knowing kind of where he came from and who he was. But I also think it is not just about kind of a reflection of where we are in the world, but it's also a reflection of where the world needs to be. Creativity can only happen when you have different elements to it. So being able to connect these different cultures and different individuals, we're able to foster creativity and innovation much faster. And I think that's the kind of vision and the kind of um, legacy that I'm sure Einstein was hoping to, uh, to further and entrust Hebrew University with. The DNA of Einstein is the Hebrew University. So the mission of our university, says Einstein, in his words, 90 years ago, is to be the one who feels the needs of the world, the serious reflection of science, and to be of inspiration to the world, and we try to follow his way.